Today on our 2011 Subaru Outback Wagon, we'll be installing Tow Ready T1 Connector, part number 118467. Now to begin our installation, we'll open the rear cargo hatch and remove the interior components, exposing our spare tire. Here on the driver's side, we'll also need to remove the foam pad by removing the two clips here. With that out of the way, we'll need to remove this foam pad here just behind the rear seat. To do that, we'll undo this clip here in the center and then pry gently up, releasing the two clips further forward, holding the pad down. Now we can reach up inside the driver's wheel well here and find our connector. It'll be taped to the wiring harness with blue electrical tape. We can then take our T connector and plug it into the factory harness. We'll then route our new T-connector harness underneath the wheel well cover and around the driver's side. We can then begin reinstalling our interior components. Remember as you're installing your interior components to make sure that your four pole harness stays exposed. We'll take the module box and remove the adhesive backing protection from the box itself. We can then place it up here between the trim panel and the wheel well. We'll continue routing our four pole harness around to make sure that it stays accessible. Meanwhile, we'll continue reassembling our rear cargo compartment. And with the cargo compartment reassembled, we'll go ahead and show you how your wiring harness works. We'll simply open the cargo door and open up the spare tire compartment where you'll find your four pole harness. We'll then grab the harness and bring it toward the outside of the vehicle, running it down to our trailer. We'll allow the harness to pass through without damaging. It. Although you do need to stay away from the latch for the door as that will damage the wiring harness. Now we'll show you how to route your four pole to the outside of your vehicle. We'll start with our interior panels removed. We'll need to remove our spare tire as there's a nice hole in the floor pan to route our wiring harness through. With our spare tire out of the way, we've located the grommet here that we'll be cutting out with a utility knife. You can also remove the grommet to help you get a better slit into the grommet itself with your utility knife. Now that we've got our hole in the grommet, we can pass the four pole harness through the grommet and out through the bottom of the vehicle. We'll then go ahead and reinstall our grommet. We'll now move underneath the vehicle where we can begin to assemble our two brackets. We'll connect the two brackets together using the hardware included with the brackets. With our brackets connected together, we'll now place it over the hitch bar and using the four inch band clamp included with the brackets, we'll tighten it down to secure the bracket to the hitch. Before you get it completely secured, it might be a good idea to pass the four pole harness through the opening that the band clamp uses to give you a little protection for your harness. With the bracket tight and the harness passed through, we can now go ahead and install the rubber grommet into the bracket, which will complete the installation. We can then move back to the grommet where the four pole harness passed through, where we'll put a little silicone to further seal the grommet up where we cut into it. With that done, we can move back up into the cargo area where we'll reassemble our cargo compartment, completing the installation of our Tow Ready T1 connector, part number 118467 on our 2011 Subaru Outback Wagon. 